Well, the Minneapolis police are doing here doing uh, Jacob Fry's dirty work. And last week he claims that this is such a big su success and the entire country comes to him for solutions on homelessness. And this is what he touts as uh, his great success. Uh, if you re look at his last press conference, and he says the entire state, the entire country, comes to Minneapolis to see their success on what they're doing with homelessness, and this is their success he's touting. While we're rebounding and setting records, uh, we're doing more than ever before also for people who are experiencing homelessness in this city. We knew that making investments in places like Vivo Village and Homeward Bound, that it would be life-changing for people that needed help. These investments are working. They are nation-leading. People around the state and around the country are looking to us as to how to work through a housing crisis. People around the nation are looking to us as to how to provide that next rung on the ladder so that people who are experiencing homelessness can pull themselves out. We have created a pipeline through our, our community partners, with partners like Avivo and Homeward Bound and Simpson Housing and Agate. So you want another example of how we're seeing major success in the area of housing? Yeah. I know you do. <laughs> Playing his little game of whack-a-mole. That's what he's doing. Push them down one place, they move somewhere else, knock them down there. And Lieutenant Troy Carlson said Mayor Fry's plan is to tire them out and keep them on the move. That's what he's doing, tiring them out so they will accept the services that they're offering. Even though those services aren't really helping people, they have to accept it and move on. And so here we are, week after week, death after death. And so is he waiting for all the homeless to die and that's how he eliminates homelessness? Because what he's saying and what we see is two different things. So as far as I'm concerned, the guy's a liar. The guy's a liar. The chief of police, when he was here yesterday, he couldn't believe his eyes. He had no idea this was here. He was literally flabbergasted. And he said, oh my God, oh my God. He said, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Literally, he could not believe what was going on here. He said, I didn't even know this was here. How could the chief of police not know this was here? Yeah. The mayor needs to stop acting like a dick and, you know, let us be and, you know, let us be out here, you know? He's the one that's doing all this shit. And, you know, he's hating on us. You know, we are good people and we do try to keep our shit clean, you know? And we do try to make sure that there's no, you know, violence or shootings or somebody ODing and dying. You know, and it's just, we do the best we can, but we still end up fucking getting put back, you know, on the street again and having to figure out where we're going to go. If I challenged Mayor Fry to come out here, he wouldn't last a day out here in the tents. He probably wouldn't even last a fucking hour. Because he doesn't know what it's like to struggle or to fucking be homeless, you know? And it's, it's just not right that he's doing this because we really are struggling, you know? We're all, we're, we're all struggling with something, you know? I mean, they, the cops came, you know, they told us we had 10 minutes to get all our shit. 10 minutes. <laughs> I was like, wow, 10 fucking minutes. Most of us didn't even get all our shit, though. Like, they threw all that shit away. They said, if you, whatever you got outside your tent is what you're taking with you. And all my, all my, all my brother-in-law had was all his stuff. He couldn't even get in our tent and get our, get our stuff. And I was like, wow. Ten, man, it's just crazy, man, that, that, they, that they do that shit. Like, and yeah, it's all material and things that I can replace it. But, you know, some of the things that they threw away, I couldn't replace. You know, I, I lost my mother-in-law two months ago, bro. And it's still affecting my wife, you know, it's still affecting me and my family, but we're not going to let that break us, you know. But the stuff that was sentimental to us, they, they threw it away. And they didn't even really 
like I said, bro, they gave us 10 minutes here and they, they cleared it all out in like a fucking hour. Now we're probably gonna stay here for a little bit and then security from up there is probably gonna tell us that we gotta leave. And if we leave here, bro, I'm telling you, they, they're gonna follow us. You know, they're gonna see where we're gonna go and whenever we get there, they're gonna, they're gonna tell us that, no, you can't set up here, you can't set up here, you know, you gotta go somewhere else. Where you expect us to go? Are you gonna open up your house to me? You know? No, they're not gonna open up their house to us. Yeah, look at all this money. All this overtime pay. $250,000. Must be nice. 